world goes digital and more processes depend on software, keeping services running reliably is paramount for modern businesses. But traditional tools for managing and resolving incidents were built to solve challenges with monolithic applications as opposed to modern distributed services. The result for those overseeing the reliability of services is a day-to-day -day that probably includes an overwhelming amount of alerts, insufficient context around those alerts, and a high volume of manual tasks required to investigate and fix issues. Stackpulse orchestrates and automates incident response and management, effectively turning manual processes into standardized code and empowering developers, SREs, and on-call engineers to stop fighting fires and break free of the noise. In the analyze stage of the incident lifecycle, Stackpulse enriches events with automatically collected information and integrates with your cloud environments, application frameworks, and monitoring tools to deliver rich alerts to your on-call and collaboration tools. Stackpulse additionally reduces the burden for on-callers by looking not only at high severity alerts, but also at large volumes of mid and low severity alerts. So you can concentrate on only the most impactful alerts. In the respond stage, Stackpulse centralizes communication and data around an incident and then collects and arranges all the data for incident response teams. Our code-based playbooks can be triggered manually by on-callers within the context of an incident or triggered automatically by monitoring alerts related to the incident. This approach drives toward a gradual shift to automation and helps you reduce MTTR, mitigate customer impact, and meet service level objectives. In the resolve stage of the incident lifecycle, Stackpulse analyzes data across your monitoring systems and your operational processes. Over time, this combination of application, environment, and operational data enables Stackpulse to provide data on how to improve your services, environment, or team processes, ultimately helping you manage technical debt. Hello, and welcome to Com42 Chaos Engineering 2021. Over 30 amazing speakers will teach you how to tame the chaos in your day-to-day. -day. For a good start, please let me introduce. Stackpulse, our gold sponsor, silver sponsors, and media partners. Alfred Hitchcock once said, a good film should start with an earthquake and then build up the tension up to a climax. Well, this show is pretty anticlimactic by design, but at least we can start with a groundbreaking keynote by Mikolai Pavlikovsky, engineering lead at Bloomberg. Hello, everybody. I'm going to talk to you about Chaos Engineering 2021, the part of the journey behind us and where we're going from there. I'm going to try to see with you how we can get Chaos Engineering to be as boring as a smartphone. I'll see you there. Now let's proceed to the highlighted talk of the conference. Leonid Belkin, the CTO of Stackpools, will share his thoughts on how Chaos Engineering and generic mitigations can curve a path to self-healing systems. My talk will describe how combining Chaos Engineering with an approach called generic mitigations allows you to build a pragmatic plan for improving reliability of software services. The talk will suggest a framework for setting reliability goals and then executing it to ensure the maximum return on any investment your organization makes in the field. The talk is targeting practitioners and managers alike. The following talks will be divided in four categories. Security, deep dive, lessons learned, and culture. We are opening the first one with Swapnil Deshmukh, the CTO of Certus Cybersecurity. Shift up. Continuous security and feedback loop in production. I will be talking about a new proposal that we have from a security standpoint itself, where all the learnings that we have in our non-production environment needs to be trickled into production environment. All the different exercises that we perform in the production network itself, be the red teaming, chaos engineering, or mitre attacks, needs to be passed as a policies to the shift left mechanism that we have that is applicable for your non-production network. Next, we have Aaron Reinhardt, the CTO of Verica, and David Lavezzo, Director of Chaos Engineering at Capital One. Cyber Chaos Engineering, how to implement security without a blindfold. Are you troubled by so much tooling? You don't know what's actually working? Have you experienced feelings of dread when asked, how do we know our tools are working? Have you or your team ever been troubled with tuning that actually made things worse? If the answer is yes, don't wait another minute. Come join us at Count 42 and listen to our pre-recorded talk on cyber chaos engineering. We're, We're ready, ready to believe, ready to believe you. you. 
Are you worried about the security of your system? Worry not. Thibaut Koechlin, the CTO of CrowdSec, will convince you that leveraging the crowd power can help regain faith in Internet Zero Trust architecture. Hey guys, Philip speaking. I'm the CEO of CrowdSec and Thibaut, our CTO, will introduce you to this massively multiplayer firewall we are creating. So thank you for having us. Hope you will enjoy the show. Coming up next, we have Kennedy Torcura, cloud security engineer at Mattermost, showcasing the risk-driven fault injection. Security Chaos Engineering for the Fast and Furious. Good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are today. Um, I'm going to be sharing knowledge about part of the things that I researched on and some of the theorems um, that I proposed and also evaluated as part of my um, doctoral thesis. Securing the cloud. Empowering developers to practice security chaos engineering is the next talk by Jury Nino and Jonathan Hill Chavez, DevOps engineers at Aval Digital Labs. Hi everybody, we are really excited to be here. Thank you very much for attending. Today we are talking about security chaos engineering, a novel discipline that offers a methodology to bring to developers to leverage the power of security in their roles. Roman Sharaf. Senior Security Consultant at Aptiva Corp will show you how to attack and defend mobile applications. In this session, I will be talking about the architecture, file system, permission and sandboxing, reverse engineering and application component issue. I will also set up a pen testing environment lab for Android and we will do some reverse engineering practical. Thank you for your time. I will see you in this session. Okay, we're done with the security track. The deep dive opens up with Tommy Bryant Butter, the principal SRE at Gremlin. Hi there, and I'm going to be speaking about chaos engineering, when the network breaks. Paweł Skrzypek and Alicja Reniewicz are both working for 7 They will make an in-depth introduction to forecasting proactive optimization of cloud resources. My colleague Paweł Skrzypek and I We'll be talking about Melodic, platform to automatic deploying application in any of main cloud providers. Many thanks for your interest and joining in. Are you afraid of breaking other people's things? Lisa Colin Curtis, tech lead at GoCardless, will show you how to avoid that. If you provide a service that other developers integrate with, it's likely that a change you make can cause issues down the line. We've all had our own software break from someone else's change. The talk is about how to identify changes that could make other developers sad and then what we can do about it. I hope you enjoy the talk. The next speaker, Uma Mukara, CEO at Chaos Native. Hi there. In this session, we're going to talk about cloud native chaos engineering and how to do it at scale. Hope you are going to have a great conference and have a fantastic day or evening. Long Zhang. The PhD student at KTH Royal Institute of Technology will elaborate on maximizing error injection realism for chaos engineering with system calls. I will be presenting some of our research work. As you know, some of the perturbation models are based on a random strategy. However, realistic perturbations can also come from the errors that have naturally happened in production. I will look forward to discussing more with you then. Thank you. Coming up next, we have Ryan Guest, the software architect at Salesforce. Normalizing chaos, a cloud architecture for embracing failover. What if instead of designing failover as a secondary path in our code logic, we embraced it and sort of optimized for it? And I think that this can get us to a place where instead of always getting paged at 2 a.m., we can get some of those pages at 2 p.m. Really look forward to digging deep into this architecture with you. I'm glad you're gonna join in. If you want to know how to keep the noise down with sensory-friendly monitoring, then please consider Quintessence Anks, the developer advocate at PagerDuty, your new mentor. I'll be talking a little bit about what too much noise can do to your brain in terms of alert fatigue, as well as strategies that you can use to reduce that alert noise and maybe even delete some. And if you want to learn more, tune in again, February 25th. I'll see you then. Mahesh Venkataraman. The Managing Director at Accenture will now tell you what his talk is all about. Hi, I'm going to speak about taming the spatio-temporal uncertainty and observability in this conference. See you there. We are officially done with Deep Dive. Let's start lessons learned with Doris Boomer, the founder of Boomer Tech Group. Five technology trends and opportunities for startups and Fortune 500 companies. I'm going to talk about AI, IoT, uh, machine learning, software as a service, 
And I'll also talk about big data. Mike Figura, IT consultant at Callcentric AG, and Oliver Kracht, implementation lead at Deutsche Bahn, will tell you the story of how they managed to clear the ring for chaos engineering. Well, hi, I'm Oliver. Hi, I'm Mike. If you want to know uh, what, why, and how we do chaos engineering at Deutsche Bahn, join us at uh, Con42. I hope to see you there. Now we cook in. Anna Margarita Medina, the senior chaos engineer at Gremlin, has some tasty recipes to spare. Hi, y'all. I'm going to be talking about things like chaos and fire and how these things actually happen in the kitchen quite often. What is it that we can learn from the situations that actually apply for us to build more reliable systems and applications along the process? Thank you very much for your interest, and I hope to see you all online. Bart and Kolar, the lead SRE at Bold.com, has traveled a long journey to resilience with his team. We've been experimenting with uh, SRE for uh, about the last two years now, I guess. So in this presentation, I kind of want to go into our learning so far, how we've approached it, uh, etc. Coming up next, Joey Parsons. The CEO of FX.com will help you manage the organizational chaos and spare some recipes for service ownership. I'm excited to share about organizational chaos and recipes for how service ownership can overcome those challenges. We'll talk about what service ownership is, what can go wrong without service ownership, and some tenants or recipes for how to implement it within your engineering organization. If you want to know the role of quality engineers in SRE, then this is the right address. Introducing Ruben Ryan George, Cloud Reliability Architect at Accenture. Today's talk is directed to the following folks. Now, these are quality engineers who are currently looking to make a career switch into SRE. The next folks are the QE engineers who are currently asked to take up SRE roles. And finally, the product managers who would like to engage their existing uh, QE engineering pool in operations or SRE activities. Quentin Balsden, expert engineer at Zulka Group, is the master of sleeping with one eye open. I'm going to take a look at the lessons I've learned from over a decade of client technology incident management. I'll be considering the different aspects of software support, from the role that we need to assume, to asking effective questions, the utilization of tooling and reports, team trust, and personal boundaries. You hear that? Well, me neither, because software won't make noise when it breaks, according to Piyush Verma the CTO of Last9.io. As SREs, we are trained to be on pager all the time. I mean, I've held a pager for almost a decade now. But this talk is slightly the opposite end of it, where we talk about all the times when the pager did not ring. It's time for the last track. Culture. Carolina Rachfau, Chaos Engineering Practice Lead at Newware, will show you how to spread chaos with a smile. Hi, welcome. I've been helping organizations onboard chaos engineering for over a year now. My talk will be a combination of cautionary tales, success stories, and common questions for anyone who's interested in also onboarding this practice. A short guide to the before, during, and after of making chaos successful. Julie Gunderson. Advocating DevOps at PagerDuty. I'm here to talk to you today about postmortems, continuous learning, and enabling a blameless culture. Thank you all for your time. For the next talk, please join me in welcoming Humera Ahmed, the CEO at Locale, embracing the fear of failure. Hi, everyone. Come join my talk and learn how I navigated fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of not being good enough by embracing it and how I became a successful CEO in the tech industry. I hope to see you there. Now let's learn how to engineer your incident response process. Introducing Robert Ross, the CEO of firehydrant.com. We are going to talk about just some of the basics of chaos engineering and kind of how to run a chaos experiment, but for incident response. That's going to be the core of this entire presentation. And really, we're also going to talk about how to add process that doesn't weigh down teams. Um, that's a really hard thing to do. The next talk will be by Pranjal Deo, Engineering Program Manager at Google SRE. Hello, everybody. Psychological safety has been identified as the topmost feature of a successful and innovative organization. And at the same time, we need to learn from failure and prevent reoccurring mistakes. 
These two practices seem to contradict each other, but is there a way to achieve them both? Thank you for interest in my talk, and I hope you enjoy it. Building systems is not only about tools and technologies. Amir Shaket, Senior VP R&D at Perimeter X, will make you understand the importance of creating a learning culture. Hi everyone, I will be talking about how we use debriefs to learn from production failures and how we use it to create a healthy learning environment. Thank you for your interest and joining in. Let's celebrate together the last talk of this conference. Dia de los Muertos, Postmortems that Save Lives, will be presented by Fabrizio Buzzetto, CTO of BX Blue. I'm going to talk today about postmortems and why I think we can do more with this technique in the tech community than we are using today. And that wraps it up for COM42 Chaos Engineering 2021. You can watch all the content right now upon free registration, or if you don't mind waiting, it will be made public by the end of March. Please also stay tuned for the first episode of COM42 Cast. How to avoid black holes when aiming for resilience starring Alex Williams and Leonid Belkin. Once more, a huge thank you to all our sponsors and partners for making this event possible. Have an excellent weekend, stay safe, bye-bye.